Alright guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to decarbonize your engine um, using just water again. But we're using a slightly different method this time. Um, last time I did this method um, there was a lot of people, a lot of naysayers saying what you can and can't do when, you know, a lot of it's just BS, they're just, they're just talking a lot of rubbish. But um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can decarbonize your engine. Um, I've been seeing um, quite a few videos on YouTube talking about uh, how to carbon clean your engine. Now, I'm not going to say they do or don't work, but a lot of time there's a motive to sell you something and not just actually provide you with the information that you actually need. Like there's generally an easier way to do things, so always ask and research. And the reason why this may not be popular in a lot of places is because no one can actually sell it to you. So I'm just giving you a toast of truth or a taste of truth. So to understand your car, what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and get some water into the intake of this car. This is the main intake of it, and but it's turbocharged by the time it comes up to here. But we don't want to do it at the turbocharger because we don't want to have any kind of um, anything to hit the turbocharger and go in. So we want to do it after the turbocharger. So as close to the inlet as possible. So our point, we want to get as close to the intake as possible when we're trying to get our water in there so it can decarbonize the, the pistons and everything inside the car. This also should help your turbo a little bit as well. So, um, you know, it's very, very good for very little effort and very little cost. So our point of entry is going to be here. I'm gonna move this, separate this up, and um, we're gonna get some access to introduce some water into here. But we're gonna do the water a bit different this time. So instead of using water in a spray bottle form, we're going to try and induce it in a slightly different way. So let me tell you what I'm going to use uh, to get it in there. So this is a steamer. It's just a simple steamer, wallpaper steamer, which um, heats up and emits steam from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this to steam up and then we're going to introduce the steam through here. So for all the naysayers and everyone else, uh, who doubts this um, way of doing things this will avoid any kind of uh, worry of hydro locking you can't you could never hydro lock with that little amount of water anyway but just for those just a humor those people this will avoid all of that so um, this will heat up spool out steam out of there these are about 20 pounds in your local shop harbor freight or harbor freight uh, Argos or Harbour Freight, I guess if you're in America or anywhere you are. And um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to introduce it into the car and get it to decarbonize there before we do a full service. But so, okay, so let's gain access to the inlet manifold. So we are trying to find a connector as close to the inlet manifold as possible. We're going to fill our steamer up with water and put it together as we should. It takes a little bit of time to steam, but it is what it is. You'll get there. While you're waiting, turn the engine on. You know, you don't have to have it super warm, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have it on and running. So here you see now we're ready to go. Steam's ready, H2O's flowing, which is really the best way to clean carbon from your engine. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna ease the end of that nozzle into the inlet manifold or towards the inlet manifold. Now the good thing about this being in steam form is that it will evenly distribute between all of the cylinders within inside the engine. So each one will get a fair amount of steam. Like I said, because it's airborne, it will flow naturally into the places it needs to be in. Now there's no chance of hydro locking because like I said, the water is in a steam form and it's demanding the oxygen, which is sucking this up at the same time. So now you've got it going into your engine, you just want to keep the res between one and 2,000 RPMs. This way, keep it nice and healthy um, flow of air going around the engine. Now you can just leave it idle because this is a pretty safe method um, and it will sort itself out just the same. What you will see is a lot of steam coming from the back of the exhaust, which means it's steaming out the whole internals of your engine. The whole combustion path is being steamed out. So that's your uh, your piston heads, obviously the cylinders, turbos, DPFs, and if you've got a catalytic converter, it'd be a catalytic converter. So this is running steam all throughout your engine, and you can see it coming out the back end. So this is why it's my preferred method, because it's very simple, it's very cheap, and it's... It's, it's something that I understand. I can see the effects of what steam does to the engine and it's proven that 
water methanol injected cars have clean cleaner engines so to speak so this is why this is good proven method to use and um, you don't need to pay a hundred pounds or whatever extortionate fees they charge you to put hydrogen into your engine some of these cleaning products are out here sea foam and all that sort of stuff so everyone should try this and give it a go okay so there you have it i've just steam cleaned the engine without selling you without giving you any gimmicks or any extortionate ways to do it and i've achieved exactly the same thing as you probably would do in a one of these little gimmicks that are going around currently and these cleaners and all this sort of stuff. Now, what you know about this stuff is that you're only using water. You see it go in from steam process to through the, in, through the uh, intake and you see it come out of the exhaust. There are no secrets, it is what it is. Water will steam off of anything. And um, it's proven even with the water, water methanol cars, the BMW M4s currently just come out of a water, water methanol um, injection system and um this is not the same but it's not that dissimilar you know the principles are exactly the same when it actually hits the combustion chamber at them temperatures so it's really that easy you can steam clean your engine for very little money especially if you've got one of these um uh wallpaper strippers because that's all it is just a wallpaper stripper so if you've got one of them you can do this really easily and i promise you you'll find a benefit from your car. But always remember to be careful and um, it's your responsibility and I'm only showing this for entertainment purposes. So um, yeah, off to another video. Let me know what you want to see next. Ask me any questions. Yeah, that I might not have answered. Yeah, speak to you soon.